Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for this video because Cricut now has the kerning font feature. This is going to make it so much faster and I cannot wait to show you how this works. Before I start, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel if you are new. Also, I have a new free Facebook group, so if you want to join, I'll have the link down in my description box. This update came out a few days ago and I went into Cricut Design Space as soon as I saw it and I still did not have the update. So I waited a few days and it still didn't automatically pop up. So I uninstalled Cricut Design Space and reinstalled it and then it popped up. You want it to be version V6 or higher and it'll show up at the top here so you know which version you have. I also want to point out really quickly that the kerning feature is only available for desktop computers. I'm really hoping that that will change and Cricut is just starting with desktop first and then we'll move on to the mobile devices, so we'll see. Also, if you go up to these dashes up here, you can go down and click on what's new. It'll show all the updates that Cricut's been doing. And as you can see, it says new in 6.9 is Kern Fonts. If you don't know what Kern Fonts is, it says it right here. It means that the text you enter will have optimal spacing between each character. And now when you search for a font, you'll see the Kern filter turned on by default. This is going to be especially helpful with cursive or script font. Before, when you would type that into Cricut Design Space, it would have these big spaces between each letter, and then we'd have to go in and manually move them together. And by doing that, we would have to ungroup, move the letters together, and then weld. And now it'll do all of that on its own, so that is awesome. I'm going to click out of here, and I'm going to go over to my text box. Then I'll just select the font box. And as you can see, it'll show up in the upper right corner here. And just like that said, it'll automatically be selected. The only thing with this is not all fonts are Kern fonts. And that just depends on if the font has the kerning data or not. So if you've downloaded a font and you search for it and can't find it, then just go over here and uncheck it. Then you'll be able to see all of your fonts. I'm just gonna hit the check box again for this. And the kerning feature works for Cricut fonts as well as fonts that you can download and bring into Cricut Design Space. I'm just gonna search for a font. I'm gonna do Magnolia Sky because it's such a popular one. And I'll select it, then I'm just gonna come down here and start typing. And you can see how it automatically brings it together. This will make it so much easier not having to line it up just right. One other thing that I want to mention is before when we had these cursive script fonts and we had to ungroup and move them together, then we had to go down and weld them and that was really important to weld it because it would make it all one image instead of cutting the lines in between these. But now with this, you do not need to weld. It almost seems like you need to because the weld option is there, but you don't need to even worry about welding it. And I'll show you an example here. If we go to make it, I'm going to zoom in really far. Whoops. And as you can see between each letter, it's open. There's not a line here, so it's welded together. So you don't even have to worry about selecting weld with this either. The only time that you would have to is if you change something with the word. So let's say you want to add a different character or if you want to make a letter bigger. Um, let's say I want to make the H bigger. I'm going to go up to ungroup. Then let's say I just want to make this a lot bigger. Now you'll need to weld it together. You can see all the layers are separate. So if you just attach it, let me come over to make it and I'll show you how you can see those lines. So now you can see there's lines between here. When it cuts on Cricut, it will not cut out correctly. So what you'll wanna do is just make sure it's welded if you do anything with the font at all. And as you can see, you can still adjust things with the font. Even if it's a Kern font and it automatically does it for you, you can still go in and make the letters bigger. You can even adjust the spacing. Let me go back and type this in again. So you can even go up to letter space and bring it closer if you still want it closer together. Um, you can even ungroup it and make it longer. You can make any of those adjustments still, or you can ungroup it and move things around. 
This is going to be the most helpful for script font, but I was playing around with a font. I think it was Impact the other day, and that is not a script font, but it'll still space this out evenly too, which is awesome. If I make this bigger, sometimes it'll have big spaces between these two, and when I start to bring the letter spacing together, sometimes it brings like two closer than the other, if that makes sense. So if I start bringing it in, it's going to do this evenly. Also, if you go up to your curve feature and move this, it's also going to keep that really spaced out well too. I think that's it for the kerning feature. Hopefully I didn't go through that too fast. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment box below. I'd be happy to try to answer them for you. Let me know how excited you are about it because it's definitely going to make it easier, easier when designing in Cricut Design Space. Also, once again, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. It's completely free. And hit the thumbs up button if you found this helpful. Mm -hmm.